I know Nijmegen as a city because I, I, I studied here back in the 1990s and um, it's a city that's well a nice place for students and young people at that time and I think it still is. Um, I used to commute to this city from my own city uh, because at the time that seemed more convenient. Um, we, well, I remember it, it was pretty different from what it looks like now um, in the sense that we, uh, we biked a lot, the young people anyway biked a lot uh, also back then, but we didn't have the facilities on street that are uh, here right now. Yeah, so compared to the 1990s, you see a lot of uh, protected bike lanes. Um, you know, now the, the fast cycle lanes are the latest thing. So back in the day, there nobody had ever heard about that or thought about this idea of, of you know, faster connectivity and, and smoother rides for everybody who's a bit further out of the city. Um, so that that really helped the city, uh, I guess, um, you know, to keep young families within the city borders uh, who didn't want to live in the, in the city center with little kids, but, you know, still having, giving them the opportunity to bike everywhere. I studied here back in the 1990s. We biked a lot also back then, but we didn't have the facilities on street that are here right now. Compared to the 1990s, you see a lot of protected bike lanes. Now the, the fast cycle lanes are the latest thing. So that really helped the city to keep young families within the city borders who didn't want to live in the in the city center giving them the opportunity to bike everywhere the priority that's given to cyclists i mean it would just make it so much more attractive for people that don't cycle at home if they could just have a go on how it is here. Compared to the 1990s, you see a lot of protected bike lanes. Now the fast cycle lanes are the latest thing. So that really helped the city to keep young families within the city borders who didn't want to live in the, in the city center, giving them the opportunity to bike everywhere.